Hello there, fellow summoners. Mad Dog HT here, going in for the. I think is. I think this was the fourth path that I did. Um, this is me just coming back through. I wasn't able to voice record while playing this one. Um, but yeah, this was a fun path. Yeah, this is the fourth path that I did. So this has uh, the spite. This is, has spite on it and power. So power shield, recharge. So you gain power only when blocking. Enhance parry, power gain. If you parry, you actually get a power gain buff that will allow you, allow you to get um, power. Um, and then spite and special to bias. So um, the team that I that I used here was for the path was basically Nimrod, Magic, and Warlock. Those were my main. I think I used all three of those for all the fights. So you can see with Nimrod. He's actually a pretty solid counter to Spite, and you might ask, well, he always gets an armor ups. Well, I mean, as long as they throw a special, which there's, they got special two bias, um, he can get those power drains. That's when he's in Blitz uh, protocol, so um, or Eradicate when you're. That's basically in both, and because it's a mutant, really easy to build up um, the armor ups. And we get them down with two special twos. And yeah, even though it has spite and there's like constant power gain, the power drains that you get while in Blitz, um, they work really well. And plus, you know, Nimrod destroys mutants. So that went, that went pretty well. Um, and now for the rest of these fights that aren't mutants, um, we are going to use Magic and Warlock. So Magic and Warlock paired together, they got a great synergy. It really amps up Magic's damage. Um, and yeah, so when she's in Limbo, she gets um, more damage. Basically, that's the synergy. It's like 50, 60% more or whatnot. And so as a five star, you know, she's lacking in the damage department but in the utility part man she is great now i eat a heavy right at the beginning I'm like uh that that was a lot of damage that i didn't want to take or need to take so if we parry we're gonna get that uh power gain buff but basically we just need to get to special two before he throws and then boom he's locked down and you do have to play a little bit different style because you're not going to get um, the normal power gain. So you do want to parry. Um, you don't want to be doing a lot of uh, draft back intercepting. You want to parry to get that power gain buff. And then, you know, when you after you parry, you want to hold your block for as long as that parry uh, duration is going. So that way you can get as much power gain as possible and you can just keep them locked down. So, I mean, besides the little bit of chip, chip damage that you will take through your, you know, holding block and whatnot, um, you know, you will get some of that back through Limbo. But besides that, that start, you know, Magic would have been taking fairly minimal damage um, on this. And because it's got the um, power shield, her special twos are hitting pretty hard. Um, you can see on this one, 42k on that last crit. That's that's pretty solid for a five star. Um, now, are there probably better options for this? Maybe, but I felt like this was pretty simple. Um, and yeah, magic does does the job really well. We get the solo. We pretty much just took that heavy right at the beginning that that took us down. Now we're gonna go up against this Odin. Um, we're going to use magic again and basically same strategy um, parry to get the power gain hold block to get the power gain and basically get to special two before this guy can throw anything um, you know the power gain is pretty good you can see i I've already gotten to special two. He hasn't thrown special one. It's got a special two bias. I mean, likely he can throw it, but if he throws a special one, you just evade it, block it, whatever you want. And then you just shut him down. Um, probably could have gotten to a special three as well, 
um, to take off all of his buffs. Probably something maybe I would have considered had I done this again. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, we're going to regen a bunch of that damage that we take into the block um, from Limbo. And yeah, since it's Power Shield, it doesn't really matter how many hits you get in. You just want to get in the specials, so um, don't have to worry about doing a lot of combo hitting. So parry, block, and uh, build up to that special two, light it off. And, and get the damage there. So, um, yeah, magic's a pretty solid option. You know, we are taking a little bit of chip damage. There was 28 and 42k, so that was 50, 70, 70k plus special damage on that one. That was pretty sweet. Um, I think it's gonna take one more special to get this guy down. And, you know, I, I do try to take the parry blocks if I have uh, that one none of that crit didn't quite do it um, while I have limbo up so I can heal it back but all right there we go magic takes another one down we're gonna stroll around the corner I think we got a gambit coming up next um, yeah I think it's gambit we go over to gambit yeah Gambit's the power shield one and then we're going to do this guy with Nimrod. Um, again, in Blitz Protocol, which is the orange, you start in blue, Titan. But in the Blitz, orange Protocol, or in Eradicate, when they throw a special, they get Power Drains. And it's it's a pretty it's a pretty powerful Power Drain. And, and you know if they're going to be throwing a few specials, and you, they can stack, and it will pretty much negate Spite. So you can see Spite, it's still it's still going. It still, it still outdoes the, the power drain, but it totally does mitigate it to where it's not all that meaningful. So we're just going to our, holding our block to our special um, two, and we're gonna launch this one off. He's got a lot of power, but two special twos is all I needed with my rank three Nimrod. And that fight went super well, super quick. But yeah, don't want to let them get too much power. Hopefully they throw the special too so you can, or special once you get those power drains. Um, and, if they, and if you don't, you'll get the cowardice. So that will make their future specials. Like maybe if they got to a special three, it would make it hit a lot less hard. And you, you know, Nimrod's a tank and against mutants, it, he'd survive it for sure. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm looking at this. And we got Gwenpool and Null, and I think Null is the last one. Have I fought one, two, three, four? Yeah, I think Null's the last one. And so I'm like, hmm, Gwenpool is an interesting one because she does take, um, you know, her, her. She has like damage mitigation from special attacks. I can't kill her, and so I was like, hmm, who should I use? You can get damage from. Um, you know, debuffs. So I'm like, I'm gonna go in with Warlock. And unfortunately, I didn't have Infection up, so I didn't get the Power Drain on that first one. And now I'm getting the Power Drain, but it doesn't do much of anything <laughs> for the Spite. It just pretty much keeps you right where they're at. And since she was pretty much at three bars, and I didn't have Infection up for that second, or the third special one, I get Special Threed, but I do survive this. And I was like, hmm, how do I change this up? That didn't work so well. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna use my my special three. I get the power drains um, and it's guaranteed. You don't have to worry about infection being up. So we're gonna race to our special three and then we're gonna throw it. And we're gonna get some decent damage. Um, Let's see, she's at 82%. I'll try to see if I can catch how much damage is coming out of this to 71. So that was 11%. I missed that. All right, so I look back, it was 41K. Plus I'm getting all of that degen damage um, from the power drains. And so I'm like, okay, that actually worked really well. It drained her, you know, it drains her all the way down to nothing. So we're just gonna keep holding block and then trying to get parries in as well to get the power gain. 
um, and then we're gonna do some combos while we can to make sure that we can get as much infection on as possible so I think by the end of this fight I actually do heal up quite a bit um, and we're just gonna be holding block 42k on that special I mean it's not like crazy damage but this this strategy really makes the fight pretty simple hold block let them come in and then reparry get the power gain and you can get to special three before she gets to special three and so we're gonna go again um, and now this you know it's gonna take you know it's about 10% per special 11% uh, 42k um, but it does put her in check so she's getting drained all the way down well not all the way because spite does offset it some but while that power drain is up and it's plenty it's plenty of time to get back to um, special three before she does now that one was pretty close but that's all right so we're going to hit her she's at 40 percent she should be going down to like 29 percent ish 30 okay there we go um 41k on that and then we're just gonna go to town now some of these times because i have infection up it's going to prevent me from getting the power gain buff which is not ideal because I, i'm gonna have that armor armor up so spite is gonna be active um but again whole block should they are pretty um the ai with the special two bias you know they're they, they aren't throwing any specials um, too willingly when you're holding block. And then I think we're going to get one more special three off to finish this. Now it won't kill her, but the degen coming out of it will uh, because, you know, she can't be killed generally by a special unless you prevent it with like ability accuracy reduction, which, you know, I do have assassins and, and whatnot. But so here we go. We get in a heavy and I'm just trying to see if I can bleed her out not gonna work not enough damage there but this will get her down to one percent and then the the power drain is gonna gonna degen her coming out of this special and get the ko so warlock is actually a pretty solid option for this um kind of a different use of his kit um to deal with that spite uh, with the recharge in play so kind of fun and so I was debating on who to use um, on this null, and I was like, you know what? Warlock worked so well that let's let's just try that again. Um, and Warlock Warlock does a trick. I was considering Doom, but um, yeah, I mean, I was like, should I do Doom? Should I do Doom? And then I'm like, no, we're gonna we're gonna use Warlock. And I was like, should I use Magic? No. Warlock. Even with the class disadvantage, um, I think he does end up throwing one special one towards the beginning, but we end up throwing off a special uh, two. Yeah, so there's there's the corruption. And um, I think we end up throwing off the special two here right before we get to special three and it overlaps the corruption timer we get a bunt that's he has a pretty hefty amount of damage a third of his damage on that special two um we are our we did get our armor removed so we didn't have spite going we're just gonna block special two um and then here we go Get some bleeds off. You know, you can get some bleeds off while they're under three bars to get some extra damage. But this special three, let's see, we go from 65 to what? 56. So it's going to do what? Less than eh, 40. It did 43,000. So basically similar damage to what we were doing with Gwenpool. Um, now, could I have thrown off some special twos? I probably should have. Um... So long as uh, you can get get him to throw a special, but I really didn't want him throwing special ones. Um, but basically, I think three special twos would have done this guy in. But I just kind of went the safer route, blocking, you know, block bait that, reparry, build a special three, and then repeat. Pretty simple strategy. Um, 
and it works. And you can get some healing back with the infection up. Um, so yeah, if you have a warlock, definitely an option to consider for sp the spite path. Um, you know, you could obviously use champs like Spidey2099 and Guardian who don't get buffs. Um, but you would have to be holding block to get your power because you wouldn't be able to get the power gain um, from the parries either. So get off another special two. Again, it's only doing like 40k, but it's it's safe. It's safe and pretty easy to to do. Um, I think it's gonna take like another special one with a few parries and whatnot and heavies, get some bleeds going. And I mean, look, you can get to special three so quick with those parries, holding the block with the recharge. Pretty simple. I don't think this is going to kill him, but I think coming out of this, he's going to get degen and bled at the end. Maybe I get a bleed off. Parry? No. Oh, there we go. And Null's down. So we get the path cleared. No deaths, which is always great. And fairly healthy on the champs. Um, and then which boss? We're gonna, oh, we're going over to the Super Scroll. So Super Scroll, he got me pretty good the first time. Um, we didn't have to use any items or anything. But I'm like, I really want the solo. And I brought Void for the solo. Now this is going to be a longer fight. Um, but one, there's two things that Void has got going for him. He's got the Petrifies to... Um, prevent and reverse the power gain buff that uh, Super Scroll will get and he's incinerated me so if you happen to get tagged by the special two you won't burn out so I'm gonna throw in um, Killmonger as a sub and I think I'm gonna drop Warlock I'm gonna keep magic or maybe I drop Nimrod um, I can't remember. It's either Nimrod or Warlock that I drop, but I, I, I throw in Killmonger, and that's just for synergy for Void to give him 1% regen per Intimidating Presence debuff that gets applied. And so that's just going to make him be super reliable for, you know, taking, healing back the chip damage and stuff like that. So um, any moment now, I think I'm going to swap out. Um, somebody for Killmonger. Uh, I was debating who to use, who to use, who to throw in. If I was, you know, because I did so terrible the first time, I was like, uh, should I put in a backup? And I'm like, no, I'll just, I'll just put in the synergy for Void. Now, my Void's rank three. It's only Sig, forty. Now rank five would definitely um, lock this guy down and put in some more. Uh, damage work with the fear of the voids and the intimidating presence debuffs but you know you do get the fury you do get the adrenaline I just went with the with the six star you're gonna see that the fear of the void does not um, you know stay up for the whole fight um, like it would with um, the five star but it is gonna be plenty enough to solo we're trying to get off some parries before we start hitting this guy. We're building up all of those evade charges, which once I evade, um, he'll get stunned. And so far, so good. We actually are able to do that until we get to the falter. It's fine. We got a petrify. He's got a power gain. Um, and yeah, here we go. We're off to the races, doing some combo, getting in a special... And he's stunned for quite a bit. Now, here I just back off. I'm just like, oh, I'll just let him. I'll just let him churn. I don't really want to deal with the special two. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna let the debuffs do the work. This, this is kind of a slow fight. I get I get whacked there, but I think I end up with a full yellow bar or really really close to it at the end. Um, and I think some of these special ones at the beginning, you know, I like I didn't I didn't counter evade that I should have because I had that falter up. I needed to hit into his block to get rid of that. I run into the heavy a little bit too early. 
um, block that, but I think I think I'm gonna get into the groove where you dash back out of the first hit of that special one, and then you come back in, and then you yo-yo back out to be able to get a counter. And so I, I do get that going here. Um, not quite yet. Blocked it, but it you know I do recommend that you do run back into him so that you can get spacing to counter. Now there he was unblockable. I don't think I had that uh, registered in my mind that he had triggered that, so I think I tried to parry, and you can't parry an unblockable hit. Um, but that's all right. So we're at 70%. But again, I think by the end of this fight, we're going to be at 100, or, or really, really, really close to it. Um, totally missed connecting that special one, and I think this is where... No, nope, not quite yet. Haven't haven't started evading that one yet. Um, gotta watch out for the falter. Yeah, right there, the falter. Plus, you do get you do get willpower healing from the falter, and then the energy vulnerability when that's up. So you get some willpower healing from that, which is nice. But you know, if he gets the power gain buff with fear of the void and some petrifies, you negate that and pretty much reverse it, which is really nice. Baiting the special one. We're still blocking it. Um, at one point, we're gonna start. We're gonna start evading it um, in full. So we've got that power gain, and we only got one petrify, but it's it's preventing a lot of it, to where it's not really that big of a deal. All right, so there I tried to evade it and failed, but I think after that one, I'm like, no, I got this. Here we go. There, that's that's what you want to do on the specials, because if you back up all the way, you get too far away where you can't counter him. He's got the unblock. You got to keep an eye out on when he gets the unblockable um, buff when he's got that co when he's got that cosmic mode on. Um, but here we go. Fear of the void. Two petrifies. If he got the power gain buff up, that's great. We reverse it all. Yeah, there we go. I think from here on out, I'm going to be fully evading that special one encountering. So yeah, Void's a good option. It's This is a slow, long fight. Um, but he works. Works really well. Pretty much shuts this guy down. Um, just be comfortable evading and countering the special one. I wouldn't push him to the special two. I know you can fully evade it. Um, I have not got that down yet, at least to where I feel comfortable doing it, you know, all the time. So, in the special too, with, you know, if he gets a bunch of those Furies up, can really do some work, and, um, you know, if he's if he's in that cosmic mode where he has, I think it's enough Furies, he becomes fully unblockable, so then you really have to evade it. But yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly going back up to 100% with those Intimidating Present 1% heals, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, Void's a pretty solid option here. I'm going to let this one play out, and I'll see you at the end.
All right, so we're we're finishing this up. We we you know we were down all the way to seventy percent. We're at a hundred percent right now. Full yellow, almost a full yellow bar. Uh, but we get the solo, which is always great. So void, good option. Two hundred plus hits. Probably be maybe around 160, 170 with a five star. I think I think it'd be a little bit faster, but you get more health and stuff. But hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.